morning, everybody. We are Nick Knack Yak and the Mash Shack. Oh, I totally forgot to turn my lights on correctly. Oh, uh, there's CC. Let's turn some lights on so we can get this thing looking a little better. All right, there we go. And the computer is reflecting. Good morning. I'm Bon Crowder. This is Nick Knack Yak and the Math Shack. Here we are. Episode 11. This one goes to 11. It is Tuesday, June 30th, 5 o'clock in the morning, Central Time, 5.01. Um, 6 o'clock if you're on the East Coast, probably 3 o'clock if you're on the West Coast, and who knows what time it is um, if you're somewhere else, like the UK. I think it's like 11 or something in the morning. So um, let's see. Uh, we are live on Periscope right now. You can tap my nose or my forehead or any place in this area to give me some hearts. And um, if you are watching on YouTube, that's not going to really work for you because um, it's not live anymore. So bummer for you. So make sure you get up early or get up late, whatever that is, to um, tune in to Nick Knack Math and Nick Knack Chat in the Math Shack every morning, Texas time, or um, every day, every weekday, in fact, um, not on the weekends, although I do some scoping randomly here and there. So today we're talking diamonds. This is today's knickknack, and I think this may be the first actual knickknack that um, I have. Um, everything else so far has been fun little math things or tools that I use, um, random junk around the math shack, but this is actually a knickknack. This is a, what is it called, a tchotchke. Um, the little inscription is um, Gottinger, so I don't know, I found it on, I, I found um, that name on Amazon. This was actually given to me by, isn't that pretty, isn't that beautiful? Um, this was given to me by my sister-in-law who um, gave this to me when, when I was um, engaged and my brother was my, hey there Jeff, my brother was my maid of honor. So she found this and she gave this to me and thought that was really cool. And I, I think it's very, very beautiful. So this inspired me to think, okay, well what a great knickknack for today's knickknack yak. And so I dig, did some digging on diamonds and math and I've talked to some jewelers and, and we have a cousin um, that runs Murray Jeweler Murray Jewelry up in Longview, Texas. So that link is on the math side. I think it's MurrayJewelry.com. So uh, I'm going to talk to him a little bit more about this because after doing some investigating online, I'm really fascinated by the math in diamonds. So I printed this out. This, it's just amazing. So it turns out that this top part is called the table, and then there's this the 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 this angly thing is the crown. This chunk right here in the middle is the girdle. This is the pavilion, this angly thing. And apparently this little point thing is like the coulette. Cool I don't know how to pronounce it. So it's really quite interesting how much goes into a diamond to be cut. I listened to a podcast from the AMA, the American Mathematical Association. AMA, yes, AMS, AMS, sorry, American Mathematical Society. I knew that was wrong. And um, listening to the details on how the functions are created to get the perfect cut. Turns out in 1919, this dude, Marcel Tolkowski, was the first person to say, hey, home slices, we can actually put some math to this diamond cutting stuff and get this right for real. So his family was a bunch of diamond cutters, but he was an engineer or was trained as an engineer and then came back and did some serious diamond cutting. Anyway, everybody thinks that he's like the father of the round cut. So, which apparently, since creating all the, figuring out the formulas and the, the mathematical models for that, he very much is. 
So it's really, um, really interesting stuff. I, after looking at it online, I'm thinking, man, this, this is, this is a lot more than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be a fun little knickknack for knickknack yak in the mouth shack. And here we are with, um, good morning. I see somebody else jumping in. There's a whole lot more to diamonds and math than, yeah, I know, right? Good morning, mistake. The, uh, she says diamond cutting and math. Cool. So a whole lot more to, a whole lot more math in diamond cutting than I thought. And in fact, diamond cutting is easier because there are only a, a very limited amount of types of cut that you can get from a diamond to make it awesome. I mean, you can cut it any way you want and it might just suck, but you know, there's lots of, lots of ways to cut colored gemstones that make them beautiful, but only a really small finite number of ways to cut a diamond to make it beautiful. So, which is kind of cool. Anyway, this has been Knick Knack Yak in the Mash Shack, episode 11. And again, Tuesday, June 30th. Tomorrow is July 1st. It is 10 days to my birthday, July 9th. So feel free to send gifts, money, or nothing, whatever, or diamonds. Tap my nose, tap my forehead. Give me some love. Give me some hearts. And um, we'll see you tomorrow at 5 a.m. Central, 6 a.m. Eastern, 3 a.m. California time. And Bon Crowder out. Bye, y'all.